In the moonlight opposite me were three young women, ladies by their dress and manner. I thought at the time that I must be dreaming when I saw them, for though the moonlight was behind them, they threw no shadow on the floor. They came close to me and looked at me for some time and then whispered together. All three had brilliant white teeth that shone like pearls against the ruby of their voluptuous lips. There was something about them that made me uneasy, some longing and at the same time, some deadly fear. I felt in my heart a wicked burning desire that they would kiss me with those red lips. The girl went on her knees and bent over me, simply gloating. There was a deliberate voluptuousness which was both thrilling and repulsive. And as she arched her neck, she actually licked her lips like an animal till I could see in the moonlight the moisture shining on the scarlet lips and on the red tongue as it lapped the white, sharp teeth. If my ears did not deceive me, there was a gasp and a low wail as if a half-smothered child. The women closed round while I was aghast with horror. But as they looked, they disappeared. And with them, the dreadful bag. There was no dear door near them, and they could not have passed me without my noticing. They simply f seemed to fade into the rays of the moonlight and pass out through the window. For I could see outside the dim, shadowy forms for a moment before they entirely faded away. Then the horror overcame me, and I sank down unconscious.